Hey there folks and fans and guys and gals. Today we're going to look behind and take a peek behind the curtain of four non-correlated hedge funds. Those mysterious investment machines that handle billions of dollars. Actually not billions, trillions of dollars. Ever wonder what specific examples look like and the returns they produce? Hey, my name is Tommy Cloud. I am president of Third Act Retirement Planning. It's a company that I started back in 2000. I am also a certified financial planner and qualified kingdom advisor. And when we talk about hedge funds today, I'm only going to focus on non-correlated ones to the U.S. stock market. We'll focus on growth ones later. I'm going to focus on four specific ones that are my favorites or close to it. Probably have about maybe 10 I'd include in that bunch, but we're only going to look at four today. Investors put their money in to grow while also not being correlated to the U.S. or global stock market, which is hard to do. We can all take our money and just stick it in bonds, stick it in cash, but that doesn't grow. That doesn't keep up with inflation. So again, we talk about it time and time again here. The holy grail is non-correlated asset classes with good long-term track records. Another example of that is gold with a 7 or 8% compound annualized rate of return since 1972 with no correlation to U.S. stocks. So let's go ahead and talk about hedge fund. In 2023, it surpassed $5 trillion in total assets invested in them globally. And in 2024, when this video is being filmed, we're at about 5.2 trillion, we'll call it, in hedge funds all across the, the world. What you want to do is when you're thinking of hedge funds, you want to think of a hedge fund like a big pool of money where rich people and big organizations put their cash together. It's like a super powered savings account, but way more complicated. These funds try to make more money than regular investment accounts. Now, I do want to pause right there and talk a little bit about the fact that, yeah, it does include rich people. That's who they're made for. You can make your own hedge fund, as we've talked about, with stocks and gold and maybe some utility stocks and some other great things like that. And you really won't be that far off of the super wealthy. And and these hedge funds that we'll look at today. But I did want to clarify that just the way it is. Most of these hedge funds we'll look at today are for qualified purchasers, which means they have a net worth of 5 million or higher. And these aren't the best performing ones. These ones that we'll look at today have little to no correlation to the US stock market. So with that, let's go ahead and dive right on in. Okay. So what we're going to do is actually look at four hedge funds and they're going to be uh, ones that are not correlated to the S&P 500. That's very important to understand. And there's, these aren't the best performing ones. We're not trying to do that. We're trying to find hedge funds that are not correlated to the S&P 500. Let's take a look at some of these. Verit Veritation multi-strategy fund. Let's look at this one. As you can see, we scroll down here and this particular one has about 2.8 billion. Fund started in 08, so same year. And you can see that if you want to invest directly in it, it's $5 million. Now for our clients, it's only 250,000 because of our relationship with Crystal Capital Partners. If you go down here, you can see the annualized return has been really good at 13%. And I say really good because the correlation of the S&P 500 has been uh, 0.18, which means that's low to no correlation. It's, it's really probably be considered low correlation. And then if you want to look at the yearly returns, you can see it's nice and smooth, no down years. The max drawdown on it is 0.78%. Now 0.76%, excuse me. When you're talking about a max drawdown, very important to understand that we are talking about the worst from peak to trough. It has nothing to do with years. For example, in 2008, the U.S. stock market was down about 37%, I believe, if, as measured by the S&P 500. But if you took it from peak to trough, which I think was like October of 07 to February of 2009, the peak to trough there, I think, was worse than 50%. Max drawdown to be only 0.7% is absolutely stellar and very rare. Let's go to the next one. We're going to take a look at the next one, which is the Two Sigma Absolute Return Enhanced Fund. Let's look at that one. Let's go ahead and take a quick look. As you can see, the, the total firm itself has about $64 billion. They've been around. All right, quick little station identification. Again, hope you're enjoying this video on hedge funds. We are here to put out material that'll help you be a better steward, better with your finances, better with what's going on with the money that you have. We can look at your portfolio for you and give you an idea on where maybe you're paying too much or where maybe your asset allocation is going to take a big hit. We can look at what it would have done in 2008, your portfolio. We've also got a quiz on here to see if you have enough to retire. You can go on here and click on any of the links on these videos to see if you have enough to retire, which for a lot of people is very important. So with that, I'll give you back to me talking about hedge funds. About what is that? 
23 years, I guess. The, this actual fund has $12 billion. Uh, you can see if you want to invest directly, if an investor does, it's a million dollar minimum to get in. For our clients, it's only 250000 as previously stated. The annualized return is about 7%. Now that's, again, it's very strong when you consider no correlation to the U.S. stock market. The drawdown is only 15% since 2014. And again, let's look at 2022. 2022, the U.S. stock market was down quite a bit, and yet this one was up over 12%, almost 13%. And so again, this fund really doing a good job of not being correlated and having good returns. So you can stick your money in bonds, but that's not what wealthy people do. That's just not what they do. They don't want to have all their money eggs in one basket, but having their money in stocks and bonds is just not as attractive to them because those bonds just don't offer good returns. But those bonds do offer no low correlation. And as we've talked about before, you yourself can create your own hedge fund with gold and stocks and other non-correlated asset classes without just doing stocks stocks and bonds. Brevin Howard Alpha Strategies, that is a master fund. We're going to look at that one. That one, as you can see, this fund, this firm has about $34 billion. They were started in 2002, which of course, 22 years ago is the making of this video. This fund has $12 billion. It's $10 million to get into this one if you go directly for our clients. Of course, it's $250,000 as previously stated. The annualized return here is 9.3%, which is good, real good when you consider a negative 0.27 correlation to you. US stocks. That is absolutely beautiful. The max drawdown has only been 5% over the last 10 years. So again, you don't want to put all your eggs in one hedge fund basket because the trading strategy could change. What they're doing that has been working for a long time may stop or they may not change or adapt. You want to diversify with hedge funds as well. And as you can see, the max drawdown being only 4.7% is probably the most impressive thing here. And here's the returns. Again, you look at 2022, stock market down big that year, but this particular hedge fund up almost 20, what is that? 20, 26%. And then in 2023, when the stock market went up greatly, it was, it was still up 2%. So great. If you can take your money, put it in 9.3%. And again, all these hedge funds, you have to be a qualified purchaser, which means a net worth of 5 million or higher. Our final hedge fund that we're going to look at today is going to be the Caxton Macro Fund. This particular fund, this company was started back in the eighties. They have 167 employees. As you can see, they only have 14 billion. I say only, but that's not a lot for a firm in the hedge funds typically. This particular fund has about $6 billion. Again, the minimum to get in if you go direct is $10 million. If you want to get into this fund, our clients, it's about $250,000. And this one has had a really supercharged return. Even though it's falling into the non-correlated asset class, it has had a super duper return of almost 17% uh, going back to January of 2018. And so that is just absolutely stellar. You can see the max drawdown has been excellent as well at about 20%. That's fantastic. No correlation point or negative 0 0.09. So this is a really good fund so far since 2018. Doesn't have as long as a track record as I was like, but let's look at 2022. Stock markets crash. This fund goes up 38%. And even in 2023, when the stock market went up tremendously, this fund only went down 9%. So to close this out, this session out of looking at particular hedge funds, let's go in here and look at what it would look like put all four of them together. So if we look at all four of them together, and I just called this four low correlate, as you can see, we're just going to go and, and really look at what it would happen. These would be the returns, two big years here in 22 and 2020, big years. And even 19 was a decent year, but we come down here and you can see that the trailing 12 month performance of these different funds, it shows them individually. And then the allocation, just what I did here is 25,000 in each one, 250,000 in each one, couldn't do 25,000. And you can see the risk is much lower than even a traditional 60-40 portfolio with bonds being a low performer compared to what these hedge funds have done and their, since their respective inception date. Going back over here, if you invest 100 back in, I guess that would be January of 19, five years and 10 months later, there it is, January 19 to October 2024. You're up right here. The blue line is what we're looking at. You're up, what is that? 67%, almost 68% since uh, January of 2019 and your money's not correlated. You can see here the return's been 9%. 0.28% a year when you put all four of them together. And so it really, and it has outperformed both the uh, hedge fund index. Okay. So let me clear some things up that you might've heard wrong about hedge funds. Number one is no, they're not just for billionaires, though you do need to be pretty wealthy. We've already talked a little bit about that. I'd say $5 million net worth and up to have access to some of the funds that we've looked at here, which again, there's nothing that beats that low correlation with seven plus percent annualized rates of return. There really isn't. 
for building well passively, completely passively. And then number two, they're not as wild and dangerous as people will tell you that they are. Number three, they do have to follow rules even if they're not as strict as other investments. And then number four, many of them actually care about doing good things for the world. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and get on some soapbox for hedge funds. That's not me. I'm not an hedge fund advocate. I'm an advocate for people and the money that's been entrusted to their care and trying to help them be the best possible stewards that they can be. And that includes you if you're watching this video. Here's what makes hedge funds special. They're like treasure hunters in the money world. They look for special ways to make money that other people might miss. They invest in all sorts of things, stocks, gold, foreign currency, cryptocurrency, and much more. And you wanna hear something that I think is pretty neat is that these hedge funds are actually super important to our economy. They help companies get money to grow and create new jobs. Some of them are even using their money to help the environment and make the world better. The biggest surprise is that hedge funds aren't just about getting rich. Many of them are now focusing on good causes like clean energy and helping communities while still making money for their investors. So next time you hear about hedge funds, remember they're not just mysterious money machines. They're actually a big part of how our financial world works. And they're changing to become more focused on doing good while doing well. Thanks for watching. Drop a comment below. Let me know which hedge funds you use. Also, if you'd like to see how hedge funds might fit into your portfolio, you can click on any of the links here to schedule a call with me or just get a free audit of your portfolio or take the quiz and see if you have enough for retirement. My name is Tommy Cloud and I look forward to seeing you guys next time.